I don't need no stinking memory card. I'm a rebel. Let's get this started. This is a game known as Poyo Pop Fever. You might have heard about it in other franchises, so to speak. It is a... Uh, you know Kirby's Avalanche and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? Those are actually Poyo Pop games, regionalized Poyo Pop games. They added characters from other franchises to hopefully sell the games better because these games, for some reason, are not popular in other regions other than Japan. I don't get why. These games are so fun! <laughs> in fact, the uh, Poyo Pop franchise is by far my favorite puzzle game. Twilight Sparkle? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Needless to say, puzzle games are not known for their story. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. You don't buy puzzle games for their story, you buy them for their gameplay. And this puzzle game, unlike other puzzle games, I should say unlike most other puzzle games, are mainly a competitive game. Sorry for the pause there, I wanted to... the cat. It's kind of funny, they don't give a full tutorial on how to play the game when you start the first start the first level. But of course it's all in the instruction booklet. Judging from that sweat drop, I doubt it. Bring it on! Well, like other puzzle games, you have to match colors to make them pop! Of course, A and B button to rotate, D-pad to move left and right, as well as drop them down. It's all basic puzzle stuff, but as I said, this is a more competitive kind of puzzle game. And you can attack your opponents by doing combos such as this. Well, they change, but you get the idea. <laughs> And I'm going to attempt to do another all-clear chain here. That is lovely. <laughs> and how about another one here? Whenever you do an all-clear, it'll give you an automatic chain setup. It's usually a small, simple one, though. I'm not the best Poyo Pop player, as I... Well, at least in comparison to the mastery that I've seen on the interwebs of professional players of this game. But I'm eh, iffy. You wait for your opponent to attack, and then you clear your poyos, dang it! <laughs> yeah, so one of the things about this game is that it's also very strategy and timing based in that... Like, you know in Tetris, you can just keep attacking your opponent? You can't do that here. <laughs> you have to time your attacks to when your opponent is most vulnerable. Yeah, those clear ones are called nuisance poyos, and you can only destroy those when there are when you destroy other poyos no, touching them. Okie dokie, who is it this time? Oh, Holy poopers! That's one big kid. <laughs> All right, round two. Let's get this started. And let's get our chain going. I like to make chains such as this, like build them up in such a fashion that they are like columns next to each other and whatnot. And we're going to aim for another all clear if at all possible. Actually, it's not looking like I will be able to set that up, is it? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I think I got it. I think I got it. 
Voila! There's only three colors of Poyos here, so all clears aren't all that hard to get. So, but on other levels, there are yellow and purple Poyos, which makes it a whole lot easier. A whole lot easier, a whole lot harder compared to the easiness that is this. And I'm just gonna keep chaining the all clears. <laughs> no thanks. You think? Well, I think. <laughs> like she's got. I like how she's got a Poyo hat. Uh oh. Oh, poop. I feel so unprepared. Even though I've played through this game many times over. <laughs> Student versus teacher! Literally. <laughs> oh, now we got the fourth color in here, the yellow. So I'm going to start the building like so. God, I love this game. It makes you think so hard. And it makes you think fast as well because of the fact that, you know, you're, you're going to get destroyed if you don't go fast enough. <laughs> or at least, well, I guess the computer is very, very good at higher levels. But in, com like, in the com competition videos that I've seen on the interwebs, Holy poop, are they fast, accurate, and smart. You should really look them up. It's very, very impressive. Uh, just slap that there. Oh, and it doesn't help that I'm a tad rusty here. I haven't played in a little while, but I still love the Poyo games. I'm going to clear. Uh, I, hope, I think I screwed up on my chain somewhere. Well, maybe not. Mm, let's slap a green there. Mm, I'll get rid of these. Mm, plop up there. She is doing a terrible job, by the way. Maybe I should have upped the difficulty level. I want, I want to do a red chain. I mean, start the chain with a red over there, like this, and watch our world crumble. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Excuse me. My allergies are acting up like crazy lately. Arr! Nice job. Okay then. Your next test will be Oh poop run! What? There's more? I'll be waiting at the Waku Waku course. Yeah, I'll play some of that in this video, this random gameplay video. Why not? Mm, I'm sure I've done better. <laughs> I don't remember what my other scores were. Why am I even bothering to put in something when I don't have a memory card in? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Waku Waku course. Let's get this started. Hi! Hey, you kind of repeated the narrator of the first one, but whatever. Dun dun dun. Alright, let's get that cane back. <laughs> Good day to you, I want that reward. Oh, reward, Peter. whatever. Are you going to look for a cord cane too? Yes, most definitely. Would you like to go together? Whatever is your lonely unrefined mind. I do not like that attitude, young lady. <laughs> I think that just went right over her head. Uh oh! Alright, bring it on! I will not be... I will not tolerate being talked down like such. So I'm going to destroy you with the power of little gooey balls of fun. <laughs> so anyway, as you can tell, you can pretty much connect them from any which way you please, which definitely helps in creating complex chains. Ah, I really wish I could play as good as the peeps I've seen on the interwebs, but alas, I don't plan that far ahead, although this is going to be a pretty decent chain. Woo! 
And I'm going to build up from here, I think. Needless to say, a game like this would not be very good for a walkthrough, or at least I don't think it would be, because the gameplay is kind of repetitive. But it's definitely something that I highly recommend you try playing yourself. Woo! Well, that didn't take too long. <laughs> All bark and no bite. Ah! It seems like everyone wants to insult our main character here. On the contrary, just who are you calling uncool? I just can't figure out why you're so uncool. Oh, someone's being a tad immature here. Get really real. Now you take me off. So we're gonna have a battle of poyos. <laughs> Indeed we will, ah, share bones. I am ready, let's go for another round. I'm not sure if I'll finish the entire Waku Waku course in this video, I just might do so. I'm not sure as of, as of this moment, I'm just sort of thinking out loud, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I'm making my chain, it's looking delicious. Uh-oh, I'm not liking... Uh, He's actually going pretty slow, but I, I I seen that he had an opportunity for something, but he kind of blew it. <laughs> I'm going to knock these down a little bit so I can do... Mm. Oh crap, I, cr ah, I screwed it up. <laughs> I got a little hasty there. That's another thing, you got to think really hard about your moves before you do them, otherwise you'll screw up your chains. I'll just get rid of this one. I don't need it in the slightest. And also think about each and every placement of your poils. Don't just like cycle through poils as quickly as you possibly can, just so that you can make a chain quickly. Otherwise, you'll end up in it with a very inefficient setup, and it'll pretty much screw you over. Rematch time. Needless to say, she's the no, timid no, girl no, of no, the no. class of sorts. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... You know, I haven't showed fever mode a single time because I've been apologize. pretty much dominating things. So I'm gonna aim for a fever mode in this round. Ain't gonna happen, girl. Alright, this has to do with offsets, basically. What you want to do is when your opponent attacks you, you destroy something on your side to offset that, and then, see that seven dot meter in the middle of the field there, next to the, I mean, on the left and right side of that record function button thingy there? Watch this. See how I got one there? I'm gonna get another one, and then another one. See, the bu the um, bubbles at the, t I mean, the poyos at the top there that indicate what is going to fall on your side of the field, you can offset those as they're being shot towards you like that. And the objective that I'm going to show you here is when that meter in the middle gets full, you'll end up in fever mode, and that is the gimmick of Poyo Pop Fever here, of course. <laughs> um... Of course, you would have to give me that one of all poils. <laughs> Should be looking more ahead in my uh, next poil setup there. Although, this is rather nice. All clear! Come on, just one more. I don't want to kill her off just yet. Eh. No, just, just destroy something so I can offset it. There we go. Fever mode time! And in fever mode, you get a load of chains that you can use to attack your opponent. One right after the other, and needless to say, you're also aiming for all clears here as well. Not too shabby with that blue just got in the way. Arr! And chains just keep coming and coming and coming <laughs> like that, and that's the point of fever mode. But, in fever mode, your attacks are a lot weaker. 
And I just heard some thunder outside. Interesting, I didn't know it was gonna rain. Woo! It's like those jumping frogs in Yoshi's Island DS. Oh, poop. Shouldn't have jumped so high. What? Why are you getting mad at me? You're the one that jumped crazily out into the air and yeah. That was completely uncalled for. Different music! It's gonna be a little more frantic from here on out as indicated. This frog here, strat his strategy is to build up the right side and then destroy and offset combos and stuff like that to enter fever mode, which is probably something that I should aim to be countering. So I'm going to try and get to fever mode instead of him. Uh, just There we go. Nice offset there. And here's another one. And he, he only seems to build up those two columns on the on the right, and then he doesn't do anything else. But if those columns ever get far, I mean, like even one Poyo away from the top, he'll fill them back up immediately. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Then again, there was a character that did that in uh, other Poyo games as well. So I guess it's a tradition of sorts. Oh, and also, see those X's at the middle of the field? I didn't explain this before. If your Poyos ever reach that spot and they don't have a way to... and you don't have a way to destroy them, uh, it's an automatic loss. What's up? Seems like we're traveling through dimensions to find it. Well, Amity, I shouldn't tell you this, but maybe being always first in the class of magic, I have already located its whereabouts. What are these kids being so dang mean? Get real, really? And all I have to do is go pick it up. Hmm. What do you like? I mean we got Mr. Sarcasm slash passive aggressive kid here. Everyone's out to get me. Well, only if you can outdo me at Puyo Pop, that is. Of course. What else could it be? <laughs> More Puyo Pop! Let's get it started. And this is a really nice Puyo setup here that I got at the beginning because of how this is going. Oh, this is very nice. PK Gam appreciates this greatly. By the way, whenever you get a multicolored one, you can change its color just by switching it with the A or B button. Mm, flop that there. Flop that there. Try this and hope to God they all destroy. Oh, that red one's not going to work. Mm, I should be watching his fever and not attacking him before he attacks me. That's another thing, is, as I said, you gotta time your attacks wisely. He's building up his fever meter, and yeah. Hmm. Plop that there. Put that there. I think through it carefully. Uh, one at a time to get that fever up. Delightful. Fever time. And now he is doomed. <laughs> By the way, that clock increases each time you get into fever mode. Although you can't, I mean, if you perform well, your next fever will be worse than your first. But if you perform excellent, such as with all clears, you'll be really, really boosted. She sure likes saying heck and really real. Come again? What's that? Oh! Can she read? He said friend. We will let you have. Oh! Little Frankenstein, or I mean Frankenstein Jr. there. He's a troll! No, I just want to be your friend. Now, does he? Well, then you're on. Uh, 
Another game of Poyo Pop it is. No, nah, it's really still one on one. They the only thing square here are your heads. They act as if they're a team, but they're actually just one character. It's still me on the left, them on the right. Bring it on! Oh, and each character has their own uh, Poyo set as well as how well they do in certain situations. Like, there's some characters that fare well in fever mode, but others that don't. So, pick a character that best represents what you like to play as. Although, in the story mode, you can't really do that. <laughs> uh, no, no, wait, no, like that, there we go. Mm. Now that was an awesome one. Mm. Carefully think about your move, PK Gam. That's not enough to destroy him. Well, destroy them. <laughs> You know what? He doesn't seem like he's in any position to recover, so I'm just gonna attack now. <laughs> I was waiting to offset what he was going to shoot at me, but it just didn't, didn't look like it was gonna happen. This is my favorite character of the game, by the way. She only has two Poyos in her drops, so she's really, really easy to use and quite balanced. Although, because she only has two Poyos at a time, she's slower than other characters. And it is now raining profusely outside. Arlie is also the main character of other Poyo Pop games. Sure, why not? Let's burn some time. <laughs> It's only been six battles, so it's kind of obvious at this point. <laughs> you may recognize this music from other sources. If not, well, you gotta get gaming more. <laughs> um, oh, she's building up a chain quite quickly, and I do not like the looks of this. I am not ready in the slightest. I need to get another red down there. Okay, I'm happy now. I'll put that there to increase the chainage. Mm. All right, time to counter. It wasn't enough. <laughs> I'll destroy that. I suppose I got my fever count up, so it's not that bad after all. And those. Uh, Nuisance poils there really aren't that big of a deal unless they're in really really big chunks Uh Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I failed Yes, I will Let's try it again This time hopefully with more success She's the first tough contender that I've had here today obviously I'm gonna aim for the all clear if at all possible on my way to uh, hopefully victory. <laughs> uh oh, I think she's getting ready to attack. Um, I can counter that. Uh, I'll just drop that there. Sorry for the lack of commentary, but I am really thinking hard here. Fever time! Yeah! Also, be careful in fever mode not to destroy parts of the chain as they're falling down that you don't want to mess up your chain, basically. But at the same time, look for opportunities to increase the size of your chain. One more I should get out of this. Ooh, this is a really nice setup. I think I got her! I think I got her! Yeah! Owned! Oh, Alright, one more stage and I'm ending off this video. Uh oh! Two eyes! <laughs> Two eyes in the dark is never a good sign. Parody the honesty test. 
Delightful, I can sell them on eBay. I always knew cats were evil. <laughs> you just got done playing a game. In fact, seven of them. Well, actually eight, because you failed. Well, I failed. <laughs> Final battle! For the cane! With rather epic music, surprisingly, for a puzzle game. <laughs> I'll put that there. This looks good. Now you would like some greens. Uh oh. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Uh, actually, I think I'm good to go now. Because I'll just be able to chain like this. To counter his meows of doom. And drop four on his side, apparently. Well, I don't see counters it. Or, excuse me, offsets it. Nope. Favorite time! And need. Blue! Go, go! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's so catchy, even when they talk. Kitty is doomed! <laughs> yeah! And I would have destroyed those blue on the left to keep the chain going as well. And that's all I'm going to be doing for this random gameplay. Well, aside from showing the outro. Her heart, I mean her tongue and mouth is like a heart. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What? Why would you turn that down? <laughs> Reward blocks. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.